good Tuesday evening to you. It is 21 News Chief Meteorologist Eric Wilhelm here. It's the video we call weather for weather geeks. We're in the middle of just easily the best stretch of weather so far in 2023. We've got three more days of great weather ahead of us before some changes for the weekend. Let's uh, start out this evening with a quick time lapse showing uh, the thin cirrus clouds and jet contrails that were in the sky for a lot of the day today. But other than that, no complaints today other than it was a little bit on the dry side and uh, certainly on the warm side. 73 this afternoon, the official high at the Youngstown Warren Airport, 72 in Pittsburgh, 74 in Cleveland, and then Akron checked in at 73. Mentioned the uh, dry weather, the relative humidity values bottomed out between 20 and 25 percent in most locations this afternoon. When you combine this with a breeze and the fact that we've got still, you know, everything's not super green yet. We still got kind of a lot of dead vegetation and sticks and twigs and things like that laying around. There's a lot of tinder out there for brush fires and we had uh, reports of some in parts of the area today. It's it's a good idea to, to not uh, burn things or throw cigarette butts out or things like that when we have conditions like this. And we're gonna have conditions like this again tomorrow. It's uh, part of the reason why the National Weather Service Office in Pittsburgh did issue a fire weather watch for a good chunk of their area, mostly in Pennsylvania. But even if your location's not technically in this fire weather watch, treat it as if you were uh, tomorrow. It's gonna be dry, it's gonna be breezy. And uh, you know, it's just one of those things where we just have to be a little bit more careful than we normally uh, would when it comes to uh, outdoor fires. Uh, the humidity values at best will be around 35 to 40 percent both tomorrow and here again on Thursday. These numbers might even be a little bit high. Um, we could see relative humidity values mostly in the 20s again over the next couple of afternoons. Otherwise, boy, it's hard to find much to complain about, that is for sure. The nation as a whole, remarkably quiet for this time of the year. You know, we're into the middle third of April now. It's traditionally kind of the peak of severe weather season in parts of the south and out across parts of the Plain States, but uh, not so much right now. Uh, the pattern will turn a little more active again with time. As we go through this evening, we'll have a veil of high clouds pushing overhead. These will thin out as we head towards morning, leaving us with a crystal clear sky for our Wednesday. I've said this uh, often, Chamber of Commerce weather, uh, yet again on Wednesday. And what, what that means, that's kind of an old timey weather uh, phrase for Super nice weather in which the uh, you know local chamber of commerce may want to take some pictures of some of the buildings and some of the streets and some of the architecture and things like that because uh, everything looks really nice on a day like we'll have on Wednesday. Hardly a cloud in the sky for the afternoon. I don't think there'll be very many clouds in the sky at all on Thursday. Now, we have some changes coming our way finally by Friday and the upcoming uh, weekend. By Friday morning, low pressure will be slowly inching northward. This is not going to be much of a player for us. Our weekend weather system is this guy out here. This is what comes our way over the weekend and increases the chance for uh, showers and thunderstorms, especially as we go into the day on Sunday. Right now our weekend forecast includes a small chance for a shower or storm on Saturday with higher rain chances Sunday, especially right around midday. If that midday timing of the front is correct, then temperatures might fall for a lot of Sunday afternoon. Might even be a couple of strong thunderstorms in the mix on Sunday. It's too early to get more specific than that, but we might have enough ingredients uh, that around lunchtime Sunday there could be a couple of heavy, gusty storms. That front will bring in a two-day shot of pretty cold air compared to where we've been. We might not get out of the 40s by Tuesday, and there'll probably be some rain showers around early next week. Maybe even a few wet snowflakes here and there Monday night into Tuesday. Well, you'll notice this is the 6-10 to 10 day outlook, so this covers a lot of next week kind of a neutral looking map across uh, our part of the country. That's because after that brief cool, cool shot at the beginning of the week, temperatures will moderate, maybe even a little above average again during the second half of next week. But despite that moderation that we expect during uh, midweek, uh, it should be a significantly cooler week overall than this week. All right, if you're interested in becoming a uh, certified storm spotter, helping us out in the weather enterprise, uh, so you get trained and uh, you get to report what you're seeing uh, to both the National Weather Service and meteor meteorologists such as myself. And we tend to, you know, uh, put a little more uh, emphasis on the reports we get from uh, certified trained spotters. The uh, National Weather Service puts on these training sessions each spring. Some of them are virtual, some of them are in person. And we have one in person in Austin Town coming up Wednesday evening. Now you do need to register for this. You can look for that link on the 21 News app. Um, but it is a free class. It lasts typically an hour and a half, two hours. 
Uh, at 6 p.m. on uh, Wednesday the 12th, that is uh, tomorrow, at uh, the Austintown Township Park. And if you miss this one, uh, we got one more in our area coming up later this spring on May the 1st at CCTCC. I think I got all the C's and T's right there. In, uh, in Lisbon, in Columbiana County, the National Weather Service office in Pittsburgh will host that Skywarn training session. I, you know, I really encourage people to do this, especially if you, you're watching this video. Chances are you're kind of a weather weenie. And a lot of you are already certified, but if you're not already, it's a great opportunity to do so tomorrow evening in Austintown and coming up in a few weeks on May the 1st in Lisbon. That'll do it for me on Weather for Weather Geeks on this Tuesday evening. Let's do it again on Wednesday. We'll have an update on that weekend forecast and another look at the longer range forecast as well.